Hello everyone! In that video I will show you some nice tricks in dBeaver uh, especially for these of you that are to say beginner in dBeaver I think will be useful when you install the dBeaver on your computer by default when you open the SQL query tab uh, the wine numbers will missed like a numbers and will be not so easy to orient it which script on which wine is it uh, to have the wine numbers uh, I will show you how to how to represent it's really easy on the left side on our SQL query command just we need to press the right button uh, on our mouse and we'll see the option show show wine numbers when we choose this option we will start to see the wine numbers in our SQL query tab and we have it uh, like a next trick like a next next trick if we want to store our existing query for example I change something because that it's already stored on my machine to say that we don't have this separator and try to close the script politely dbeaver ask us do we want to save that and usually because we are doing a lot of stuff and we want to continue later usual we just could save it uh, we cannot see message where we could find out our script again for this reason I will show you where you could find it out in project general tab that we have here in scripts folder you will find out the whole the whole scripts that you store by this way when we just press save button and try to close the scripts and when I open scripts for store file I will see against my, uh, my SQL queries and could continue to work with it, with it. the next scenario that you have sometimes potentially when we work with more than one connection it's potentially could have a problem to run our script on wrong database or wrong server for this reason we have to be sure that here in a uh, place that we should choose our server and our database we choose the right one and if we want to put attention on them and on our uh, on and on our uh, connections regarding if they are uh, testing connections that we could do what we wish or production and should put attention on them there is a way to change and edit our connection with this option when we write when we press the right button on our mouse and go on edit connection option here in general section we could see connection type options and here we have development test and production uh, by default when we install our dbeaver all of our connections are development but if for example I want to mark this one like a test connection and I want to be sure that everything that I do here will be potentially without a lot of problems when I choose the connection type just press OK we'll have a message that this connection will be changed like a type and when I confirm my choice I will see that my query tab it's marked with like a testing connection and here on the server name and on the database name I already put attention and could see that uh, that they are chosen for a correct and wrong way currently on database I see NA should choose the HRM because I want to run my queries on it and yeah and that's it that's it the way how we could mark our connection like typing if you like this video and want to find out more things 
will be happy to put in comment if you want something uh, like a extra to be represented to you like a tricks in the beaver and we'll be happy if you press the like button or sub and subscribe button for this channel and let's give you something like a bonus from me to say for that video and how we could use uh, templates that we create in the beaver they are system templates that we could use as sf and uh, like a shortcut name and when we press after these two characters control out and space as you saw uh, for us the beaver written select star from and here just we need only to select the tables regarding um, which want which we would like to to to, to see the result uh, this type of templates it's really useful and we could create our template with our shortcut characters for example like that to have some query behind this uh, behind this uh, shortcut that it's a uh, big query that we all we, we, we use really frequent and don't want to write every single time uh, for example if you want to test something after our deployment or our uh, implementation that we are doing and uh, we should do some regular che uh, checks and uh, the query that we regularly run we just could create and put like a like a template and with the shortcut and um, uh, and key keyboard combination control out and space to directly the beaver put this query in our query tab uh, that was from me and if you like that if you want to see how to add this kind of templates just put a comment and I will make a video for you uh, thank you and see you next in next video